G'day, welcome back to another episode of The Lion Lawn. Uh, it's been uh, exactly a week since I did the lawn reno, since I finished the lawn reno. So last Saturday was the day that I put the last lot of sand down and leveled it all off. And so now today, Saturday the 23rd of October, uh, I'll give you a quick update and see what the grass has done in that week. Uh, since I finished the reno, uh, we were supposed to have a week full of rain. Uh, we got none of it, so I uh, had a heap of hot days, got the sprinkler on it heaps, so the grass has just gone absolutely nuts. I'll show you that, we'll come out here and have a walk. So as you can see, it's certainly not mucking around, it has started growing back thick and fast, which is good, um, and it looks quite good, it actually looks like really nice grass at the moment. So um, today's plan is to go around and um, give it a hit with the um, push cylinder mower to knock the tops off all those nice long um, leaf blades. Because what I want to try to do is encourage the, the stem or the thick um, tough part of the grass to sort of stay at, at ground level while the nice soft leaf is the only thing popping up above it. So if I keep knocking it down and training it to grow sideways rather than up, hopefully that's what we'll achieve. So I'll do that. Um, I've got my Victor push cylinder mower. I'll give it give it a go with that first. Um, I was going to do it with the the Ryobi battery mower, the rotary mower, um, but I think it's just going to suck up a heap of that sand that's um, very dry and very loose still. So I don't want to fill my green waste bin up with all that sand. But we'll see how we go. I might give it a little hit and just see what happens. But uh, other than that, once that's done, I'm then going to do a first application in the backpack sprayer of all the. Um, um, chemicals and bits and pieces of some fertilizers, um, some wetting agents and those sorts of things. So when I get to that I'll um, go through each of those and show you how much I'm putting down and what they do. Um, but first things first is I will go and get a mow on. I don't know about you guys, but I reckon that's already looking much, much better than it did before we started. So I can't wait to see what it's like um, when it's filled in and it's it's really in the middle of the growing season and going good. So I'm very, very happy. The uh, the poor little push mower unfortunately couldn't get through some of the thicker sand over in the um, over in the back corner over there, but uh, that's all right. I'm happy to let that bit grow for for now and. Um, Give it a hit again when that sand's a little bit more compacted if we get some more rain or if i uh, water it a little bit later on that might uh, knock it down a bit more and and i'll get some more mowing done there but now i'm going to move on to the side and then out the front and then uh, come back and get my, my sprayer ready to um, put some of those plant doctor things down the push mower over the grass, so the back and the side. I started to do the front but there still hasn't been much growth there and I was sort of getting bogged down in the sand with it and just moving the sand around really so it wasn't really worth it. Plus when I did the, the front I also threw down some seed in a um, in an old garden bed along the side of the driveway there and those little um, starter grass things that they mix the kaikuyu seeds with have started to shoot so I didn't want to chop those off until they get um, a little bit more established. So anyway. The back's looking good, the side's looking good, the front 
it's, it's always been a little bit slower, so I'm not too worried about it. But what I'll do now is I've got my sprayer um, and I've got some plant doctor products that I'm going to spray across the lawn just to try and really encourage it to kickstart the, the new growth. So what I have is Seaweed Secrets. Um, so that's a, um, a product, I mean, I'm sure we all know sort of what this, the seaweed benefits on, on our lawn are, but it um, strengthens up the grass, promotes better growth in the leaf. Um, and makes for a healthier, um, disease-resistant type of growth. Uh, I also have Activate Mate, which is a liquid fertilizer, which again will help with the growth um, of the leaf, but it'll also condition the soil a little bit, I believe. Um, I think that's its main job. Inoculates turf and plants, aids the conversion of fertilizer to complex plants. Da -da 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 -da. Improves disease resistance promotes soil aeration, water penetration, and reduces runoff. So, always good to have that sort of stuff. Um, some Quantum H, which is a humic acid, which provides, uh, produce a stronger and healthier plant and lawn, increase, increases and stimulates microbial activity. That sounds pretty nifty. Um, and uh, improves the immune system of the plant. So, these three here together, um, my understanding is help make the grass a little bit more drought resistant, a little bit more um, hardy. It won't stress out so much in the heat. We get really hot, dry summers here. So hopefully um, a frequent application of that will keep the, the grass healthy and, and sort of stove off a little bit of the, um, the, the browning in the, in the really hot summer. So we'll see how we go. And then I'm going to throw into it this little guy, which is Stimulizer, um, the super concentrate bio stimulant. Uh, it says apply to all liquid inputs, uh, including herbicides, Roundup, etc., to supercharge them. And anyone who knows me knows I do love a good supercharger. So I'll put those in and um, mix them all together. Now, there's been enough people um, doing plant doctor video um, reviews and mixes that I know um, that these ones here can all mix together in the same batch without going too um, clumpy or, or getting um, lumps in it or anything. So I don't have to worry about that. But if you're going to get any plant doctor stuff or any other um, liquid fertilizers, liquid iron, quantum, uh, sorry, humic acid or something like that, and you're going to mix it together, just always read the label and check that you can mix it with whatever else you're putting in, because uh, the last thing you want is for it to clog up your, your sprayer. So, all right, let's uh, put them in and see how we go. All right, uh, 100 mils of humic acid. 150 mils of Activate Mate. 138 mils. 100 mils of Seaweed Secrets. And last but not least, 6 mils of Stimulizer, which will be 6 drops out of this island. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. And the other thing people sometimes put in with this mix is liquid iron. Um, I um, oh, move that back. I thought about putting some of that in, but considering how new the grass is and how low it is and how much sand there still is, the benefits of the green up of liquid iron would be lost um, this early on, and the other benefits of the liquid iron are sort of taken care of by the um, Activate Mate, I think. So I'll leave it out this time around, but hopefully in a couple of weeks when I get nice coverage, I'll, uh, I'll start putting liquid iron in as well. Yeah. Just going to mix this up and throw a Ryobi battery in. Start spraying. That's not bad. 
Last time I did this I measured that I needed 10 litres for this section of lawn and uh, a little bit carried away this time around and ended up putting 12 litres of water in and I thought, ah, oh, I'll just keep using it, but uh, there's a litre and a bit left, so I'm glad I did. Today is such a beautiful day out that halfway through filming the uh, spraying the front and side yard the camera here overheated <laughs> and shut down so I missed the footage of that but that's alright it's uh, it's done front's done sides done backs done and I tell you it's starting to look really nice again um, which considering it's only been a week uh, I'm really happy with that you can probably hear Dexter panting <laughs> indication of how uh, hot it is today <laughs> poor old thing been running himself silly follow me around um, so yeah look it's looking good it's looking really good and um, I think another couple of weeks and uh, it'll be filled in on those sandy spots it'll be looking much better well that's a bit dark sorry and um, yeah so over the next couple of weeks I'm going to try and keep cylinder mowing it with that push cylinder uh, a friend of mine has the Ryobi one cylinder mower that people bought like mad and then never really used again So he's gonna lend me that to have a try. I'll give a test of that and probably probably do a little uh, Review on that compared to the push cylinder mower and then uh, hopefully a couple of weeks from now uh, My new mower will turn up just in time to start making this lawn look really nice. So um, That'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time on the line lawn